So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, we're going to talk about visualization. Love, love, love visualization. And we're going to test a new service released by Google. And it is called the Data Gift Maker. And what it does is it allows us to create custom visuals uh, that will be saved as GIFs. And I don't know if you knew, but you can actually import GIF into Power BI. So I'll show you how to do that too, okay? So first of all, I'm going to give the link to this in the description box so you will be able to access it, don't worry. But we have, this is a Google Lab, it's like Microsoft Mechanics, kind of. And uh, they're releasing three new visuals to start with. We have Rectangular. And this is like a treat map that expands. Uh, you probably will see it very soon. And then we have a racetrack, now it's moving. And then we have a Circles. And I really like, for example, these circles for when you are visualize, uh, when you visualize categories, like, I don't know, product categories, for example, or countries. And suddenly some of the countries are very, very small. Normally people use a pie chart. I don't like pie charts, so I use tree maps. But, you know, the small squares, you don't see them. And it's a little bit of a pity. I think these circles is quite cool visualization because you actually see even the small ones. So this is the one we're going to try. We're going to go up here and we're going to go to the data gift maker. I have already created a few because if you have a, if you create a high quality visualization, which you should, the low quality is not very good. It takes a while and I don't want you to wait for it to create the actual visual. So I can grab this afterwards, but let's grab the circles. And there are some bats with this. And I'm guessing that you already thought about it, but just in case, uh, product revenue, you start giving it revenue. You start giving it a title. And now to add data, there is no import from CSV or Excel or anything like that. You have to hard code this stuff and whatever you hard coded is in here. And what is here, they don't say. So where you're putting your data is somewhere at Google. So. Careful. So use this only for publicly shared data. And one of the use for this, you could be like as an intro for your Power BI report where you have like countries sales and then it just starts moving on the first page or something. It would be like super cool. Uh, but again, it has to be public data, okay? So let's think that we are Apple and we know how much iPhones and iPads and stuff they sell. So we can actually come here and share the data again. So we say iPhone, you have the possibility to have percentage or uh, values like one, two, three, like 30 or 30 billion or whatever. We're going to use percentage. So we say that the iPhone stands for 75% of the sales. And then we have a max stands for, I don't know, 10%. So we are um, 85 and then we have uh, iPads, another 10, and then we have other five. Now here's the funny thing. If I put five here and 10 in there, it will not rearrange, which is a pity. It should actually like sort, it, it doesn't. So be careful with that. Now preview, we see boom, boom, boom. Ah, I, I love it, I think it's gorgeous. Okay, then when you are ready, you click save give and then you have a high quality or low quality. Pick high quality because the low quality is very low quality. Uh, we're going to use the ones that I've already created. So if we go in Power BI, like how do you display this cool new visual? Let me show you. So you have here a share link, and this is like if you want to share on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And then we have here a download link. That's the one that you have to click to be able to import the GIF into Power BI. So I'm going to grab this one. And you see the link there? This is the one that we copy into Power BI. Put it in there. Sometimes Power BI tries to be too smart. Uh, GIF, and I'm going to put the low quality so you see how what you can see there that is quite like quite low quality actually. 
uh, give load and then load that's all you need to do and uh, I, again I don't know if you knew but you can actually visualize uh, gifs in power bi you only need to do this you go here and then you change the data category it has to be image url on both cases obviously and now how to visualize it here's the thing if you put it in there uh, you know, the matrix now can show images, but they are so small. And even if you go in here and make it bigger, it's just not big enough. It's like you don't see it, so it doesn't work. And I tried all kinds of visuals, I tried slicer and out of the box visuals, doesn't work for me. If you know a way, let me know. I would love to know. So the only way to do it, it was actually to import a custom visual. And the only one I found that I tried to, but the one I found that works is this image by the first one that shows when, when you, oh, ooh, let me show you. Mm, image. This one. So now, about custom visuals, I don't use custom visuals unless they are made by Microsoft. Um, I can't risk it. I, I can't risk data being moved somewhere else without me knowing, and I was the one putting that thing there. So, and I think that with whatever is out of the box and some Microsoft visuals, you're good to go. But you just put your data on Google. So you are fine. You can use any of these image custom visuals because the data is already out there, okay? So what we're going to do is move that and use this image. And look how gorgeous. How cool is that? I absolutely love it. Again, you cannot import data. Data is shared publicly, but for, for data that it, maybe you don't care or it's not clear enough what it is or you decide what, what it could be it works very very well and it's like super good and visual you could have this in like when you come into the office and whatever support cases or i don't know whatever you want it's like you see it and it's moving and people would pay attention i think it's lovely so if you put the low image you see the quality is, is really low i wouldn't do it wait for the other one to load and the uh, google says that if you want your images to load might fail a while so leave this on until it generates okay and then you will be good to go basically so another thing before before i finish um here's the thing Microsoft has a similar service and it's called the Charticulator. I have given it a try a few times and I, I've been wanting to do a uh, tutorial, which I will probably end up doing, but just need time because this thing is not intuitive at all. And you know, time is <laughs> it's difficult to find time. So, but the first time you, ha you have to load the data in here and the question is again what is here where is my data where am i putting it is it in azure is it my azure is it microsoft's azure you have no i i have no idea probably if i read the terms and conditions charticulator can be built from source and host on your own server there you have it so if you use it here probably it's in azure somewhere if you move it, oh, that's quite cool, actually. So if you move Charticulator to your service, your server, then you can use it wildly. I didn't know that. Maybe it's a little bit more interesting to check it. Anyhow, you have to put in the data. And I find the thing a little bit hard to use, to be honest. And I have to give it a go. I have to have a little bit more time to give it a go, and then I'll show you. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put the link down below in case you want to check it. Um, go out. Because if you make this work, then you can do any visual that you want. And actually, it can be built from source and hosted on your own server. I have no idea. I have to do some research on that. 
making the video too long. I'll see you again on the next video. I don't know when I'm going to publish this. So take care and until I see you again.